Welcome, media heads, to the Cohen's house on this spooky Halloween. So first, I wanted to walk you through the beautiful backyard that they're going to be having a Halloween party on. Uh, the speakers that we have discreetly placed throughout the yard to create a great audio visual environment. We'll also be going over the technology that is the foundation in order for us to be able to do something like this follow us all right so first and foremost in this corner we have a 360 degree bose landscape speaker it is waterproof rainproof heat proof cold proof uh and provides actually pretty dang good bass because it has an eight inch driver in there we have these discreetly placed throughout the yard including right over here by the garden and being that they are 360 degree speakers they are dispersing audio everywhere. So you get audio there, audio over there, audio in the pool. Excellent cover. Right over here on the pool house, we actually have uh, two speakers mounted on the eave. A Samsung Terrace 75 inch mounted next to the door. Uh, and inside, we have even more cool goodies. So let's go and take a look. In here in the pool house, we have, uh, we actually have Wi-Fi from the main house. We have a run from, via CAT, CAT6 cable. We have that running from the main house into a conduit into the attic space up there and into that corner. We actually have a uh, network switch, uh, a few Sonos amps in there, uh, as well as a TV with a mounted Sonos Arc soundbar. In this scenario, we actually, uh, are using this in conjunction with a dance dance studio. Wi-Fi is ceiling mounted Eero mesh uh, that is hardwired to the main network. So they have one big giant network here. Over here is where the actual magic happens in here. We have two Sonos amps and a network switch. The Sonos amps are pa uh, powering passive speakers along the edges of the building. Uh, and then a few of the 360 Bose speakers throughout the yard, and the network switch is providing network to the TV and the Euro Wi Fi access point. All right, so moving on to the pergola, we have four in ceiling speakers and a 75 inch TV on the wall. The TV is 100% just a one remote solution. We're using Roku in this case. The volume, power, and everything automatically distributes the audio from the TV to the in-ceiling speaker. All right, so let's take a gander inside, shall we? So in the ceiling, we have four in-ceiling speakers, uh, six and a half inch, four, uh, six and a half inch, all running off of the Sonos amp, uh, which we have up at the front of the room. We also have a Sonos Play 5. We also have a Victrola turntable. Now this is one of my favorite turntables because it automatically connects with Sonos at the basis. So meaning this is an input in the Sonos app and it will automatically play to a speaker that we can set. Um, that is, in my opinion, one of the, one of the best add-ons to a Sonos system you can get. Uh, it also, I mean, I don't know about you guys, I absolutely love dropping the needle on some vinyl from time to time. But of course, without a good Wi-Fi system, without a basis and backbone for it, none of this would work. We are uh, using an Eero man managed slash mesh Wi-Fi system. Every single Eero that we have throughout the home is hardwired, so they get 100% of the speed requested from them. We have a 16 port switch right here, and that is what allows us to hardwire all the devices. And of course, Sonos amps. So for distributed audio, that's just gonna be the in-ceiling, on-wall, outdoor speakers. In this install, it's a hybrid install, so we have both older Sonos product, product as well as newer Sonos product, uh, but we were able to get them all on the Sonos S2 software. So that's everything. Welcome to the Cohen's house and uh, we'll keep you updated as things progress.